Internet friends. Hello, Internet friends. A quick run through of Arc 1 from Orchestral Tools, Metropolis Arc 1. I've got the first multi loaded up. This is high strings. hear that there are section blend. All default mic positions, everything is straight out of the box. That's not what I wanted to do. Let's close this quickest way possible. So these are just low strings. These are sustains, not legatos. Goes all the way down to C. Wait a second, they are legatos. I've got a mono poly key switch, sorry. <clears throat> It's not exactly a legato, it's more of a monophonic strings. Okay, so, um, tremolos, oops, quick drawing, please. I always like clicking the word portato. So good opportunity to hear the mics. So if we switch to the surrounds and the AB. You'll hear a lot more room. Um, shoot, I always click the words and not this. Short, shorter potato, spiccato. Now these are octaved. So I'm just going to hold on one key because it includes that lower octave already. See how this just adds an octave? So the B, it's, I think it's going to... If you find a... Round robin you don't like. Um, you might have to do that in the individual articulations. There is a way to turn off our, uh, round robins you don't like. So if you find one of these like... that you didn't like, you can turn it off. Let's go back to the regular mic positions. So it loads with close and tree. That's the quietest velocity. So you have to control it with mod wheel. Okay, moving on. 
Sorry about that. If you can hear that, uh, we'll just rip through the high strings here. So these are octaves again. So that's one thing that you're kind of giving up is you can't, I don't, I um, have to look at the inter individual articulations to remember if you can get these not octaved. Okay, so these are the unison spicks. And then you don't get to go higher. Now they have a blurred spiccato, which allows you to get a little different kind of character. It's a little less sharp and uh, defined articulated. It's a little more blurry. So let's move on to bassoon. So we go straight to there to the bassoon. So you'll 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 notice that there's some high winds missing, um, and it's like, oh, okay. I guess we'll just skip to the bassoons. You can have it go down to Niente if you want to. It's right there. So these are kind of cool. They, they give you a flutter. Okay, contrabassoons.
Interesting. Um, the bassoon has an interesting um, set of harmonic overtones. Often, what you're hearing is the is an overtone uh, that you're hearing as the fundamental proceeding as the fundamental. But I didn't realize. I'm not quite sure how we got into the situation where this um, ascent sounds as low as this. So it's an interesting inter instrument, though. Hunter bassoon. And the flutter. So what have we got here? Trumpets? Somehow I hit a key switch. <clears throat> Of course, orchestral tools always has such great brass. So here's a cluster staccato. Uh, crescendo, cluster crescendo. So those are nice to have. Fantastic brass. Love that room. And great players, great instruments. Okay, horns. <clears throat> I suppose I could just be clicking the next button. That's the top note in the general range. If you want to extend ranges, you can um, move them here. So you can just add some range there. And it does its best to accommodate. Sorry. I had to try the pitch bend. Pedal tones on the horns there. G, let's see, G. I think we're in the pedal tone range. So, fantastic horn section. Mount Marcado. Get the idea. Shorter mercado, staccato. I mean, you can't quite get the impression of triple tonguing, but it's pretty close.
<laughs> Rips. Short crescendos, same idea, all the others. Here's a flutter. So pretty extensively sampled horn section there is um there's nine in this group, I guess. And then um three in this group. So if you want a little more focus sound or want to write write bigger chords. Have the voicing be a little bit more. Let's see. more flexibility with the with the three horns for all of that stuff so you get the idea just a little more focus Pretty in-your-face tenor trombones. Oh, these are bass trombones. I wasn't looking. I was like, well, that doesn't quite sound like a tenor. Yeah, that's a bass trombone. Again, if you want a little bit more range, you can just drag that up. <laughs> Bass trombone. Fairly majestic there. Staccatos. Nice and splatty. What else have we got? Um... Oh, Chimbasi. Fair degree of um, motion in the crossfades. Not too distracting, probably, in the mix. for adding I mean this is perfect for um, adding that that big bottom end to a brass chord and uh, it could probably get mellow too let's see what it does wouldn't call that mellow, but. So pretty nice crossfade there. I 
I mean, I don't, I don't really question it. It, it feels right. Um, moving along. Low choir. Not sure what to say about all this. Um, really depends on your what you want a choir to do. kind of up to you to decide what you want to do with a choir. So these are women. Looks like we start about here. So Sorry, I flubbed that a little bit. kind of pushing it to extremes there. Um, let me see if uh, changing this, what do I have to do to take off the poly? Clearly I haven't written poly sustains on this yet. I don't know, we'll just use the Mercados. Again, it's kind of up to you to decide what you want in a choir. A lot of people love this choir. So it serves its purpose. It's it's pretty capable. Uh, so and now we're into the guitars. I just let go of the key and we're waiting for the feedback to stop. Oh, these are the special. And you, 
can hear the, it's an ensemble because you can hear the bass. Power chord plus bass, power chord. It's one of those love it or hate it types of things. It either fits into your piece or not. But there's another one. It's just similar things. And it's got more of a that stereo right, f right side feel. Tremolo. Okay, so those are the multis. Then there's all the single articulations. So you can go through um, folders full of all of those with in each of the sections. Um, and choir gl has glissandian effects. I don't think we went over that. I forgot it had that. Mm -hmm. All right. And uh, the men have it too. <laughs> wow. Okay. Dicky dicky. Uh, we've got a couple pianos. Um, wait, I hit percussion. Percussion ensemble. So the ensemble is individual drums. I've used these in lots of pieces. This one's very tone tuned. This one's a little more blurry and to tune, tune, tonal center.
Oops. So, um, and then we get the hits, which are big. get the idea. Huge, big hits. Then uh, Drake Piano, I guess, is the only piano in this one. I think Mark II has two pianos. So it's a really bright, clear, crystal clear. Sorry. <laughs> kind of. piano and it's got these nice big low end kind of that they they really add a lot of brightness the strings feel shiny so it's a nice big bright it's not um, overly bright but it's it adds a lot of brightness to um, your palette, even on the low end. And also clarity. It's like a it's not a it's not as dark a piano as it as you might think. It's kind of a clear piano to me. It's got nice kind of Kind of, um, it's kind of rich and crystalline. Okay, so guitar ensemble. There's a drum set. You know, I've never really played with this drum set. Pretty close to a general MIDI type of outline here, so. hat is choked. Crash one and two. So a nice drum set. Um, and I think that is going to round it out. Dry bass guitar. I think we kind of did most of these. Alternate power chords. I think we heard those. And so that's arc. Oh, and then there's time machine patches. Um, which are all in folders. So yeah, then they do the same thing with time machine so that if you want to make it sound um, in tempo, you would use those. So your swells would be in tune in time with the with the beat. What? Oh, so like your time machine, like your rolls would be in in time. Let's. Maybe you just do this. I guess you just control that. There might be more things in the documentation to read through about 
Here's the round robin layers that you can turn off. So if you want to turn off some of the round robins, if you didn't like one of them, you could just turn it off here. Um, you've got a release control trigger, so... It controls the whole instrument that's been loaded, so... The whole NKI. You can do a... Um, Um, you can turn off layers, like you can have, no matter what velocity you play, it's only going to play the fortissimo, fortissimo, um, or only play the mezzo forte. Layer. Um, turn us off the layer. These are all kind of standard. Polyphonic round robin, fake neighbor round robin, new note resets round robin, all of those things. Reset round robin after a certain number of milliseconds. Um, there's a bunch of tables that you can mess with. Um, let me make sure that I've got the right um, other presets. Switch the mics out. There's also a spot mic here. So that's what these sound like with the surround and the AB mics. I don't know if AB actually means ambience, the ambient mics. But I tend to like to turn off the tree when I want it to just go back in the room further. Because the tree isn't, isn't so distant, obviously. Close is nice and close in the spot. Okay, that's the same key. It's a pretty big difference between the spot and the close. Actually, I should use this more. This makes these hits a lot more interesting. So that was... Uh, the hits time machine. If we go back in and we use percussion hits and just look at the spot mic. Pretty big difference between that and with the sound with all that room. Teldex Recording Studio is just awesome. So, Mike's, uh, Mike's add a lot. And that's the roundup there. Uh, Arc 1, Orchestral Tools, Metropolis. Enjoy. <laughs>